At first our universe seems to be a very quiet place, but when we dig deep into it, it's a violent place that can be beyond mankind's imagination. So let's dig deep into some incredible elements of universe. Where imagination stops and creativity of universe begins. First element with which I'm going to introduce you is black holes and white holes. A black hole is a region of spacetime where gravity is so strong that nothing, no particles or even electromagnetic radiation such as light, can escape from it. The theory of general relativity predicts that a sufficiently compact mass can deform spacetime to form a black hole. Black holes of stellar mass are expected to form when very massive stars collapse at the end of their life cycle. After a black hole has formed, it can continue to grow by absorbing mass from its surroundings. By absorbing other stars and merging with other black holes, supermassive black holes of millions of solar masses may form. There is consensus that supermassive black holes exist in the centers of most galaxies. A white hole looks exactly like a black hole, it has mass, it might spin. A ring of dust and gas could gather around the event horizon, the bubble boundary separating the object from the rest of the universe, but unlike black holes the event horizon of a white hole is a sphere of no entry. If the entropy of the local region gets decreased, white hole can be formed, but it will collapse back as the entropy started increasing again. Supernova are the biggest explosive events that occur in the universe after the Big Bang. Stars five times, or more, bigger than Sun experience this gigantic end. During the life cycle of massive stars, the core of star undergo nuclear fusion thus resulting in formation of new elements, after some time this dense core experience a big blast called supernova and result in formation of either a neutron star, or a black hole. Newton stars are the result of supernova. When a star weighed around three solar masses collapses under the effect of its gravitational pull, Neutron stars are the most dense objects, after black holes, this much that one sugar cube of neutron star would weigh about a trillion kilogram on Earth. When the very central region of the star collapses, crushing together every proton and electron into a neutron. These newly created neutrons can stop the collapse, leaving behind a neutron star. It turns out that roughly 68% of the universe is dark energy. Dark matter makes up about 27%. The rest, everything on Earth, everything ever observed with all of our instruments, all normal matter, adds up to less than 5% of the universe. Dark energy is the name given to the mysterious force that's causing the rate of expansion of our universe to accelerate over time, rather than to slow down. That's contrary to what one might expect from a universe that began in a Big Bang. Dark matter is called dark because it does not appear to interact with observable electromagnetic radiation, such as light, and so it is undetectable by existing astronomical instruments. A nebula is a giant cloud of dust and gas in space. Some nebula come from the gas and dust thrown out by the explosion of a dying star, such as a supernova. Other nebulae are regions where new stars are beginning to form. For this reason, some nebulae are called star nurseries. 